Uh, for this particular morning meditation, I hadn't done one in a while, but I wanted to share with you uh, about staying on your assignment. And, and it's in response to a social media of my, a post of mine from the past. Uh, but I think it's so pertinent and so many people need to hear this particular uh, uh, truth. Uh, I wrote, folks mocked and rarely listened to Noah too. He's not alone. Maybe they're doing the same thing to you. I said, but one day it started to rain. Stay on your assignment. It will pay off after a while. It doesn't matter what your field of endeavor, what your call is, what your vocation is, what God has called you to. There's a time where weariness will set in. There's a time where you you assume weary in well doing because it doesn't. You haven't gotten the breakneck results that some seem to have. Uh, but you got to stay on your assignment. You know they laughed at Noah too. They talked about Noah too. They snickered at Noah too. But one day, it started to rain. You got to stay on your assignment. Uh, you, it will pay off. And what the old Baptist preacher used to say, after a while, you know, while holding his ear, it'll pay off after a while. Stick with your plans. Stick with your purpose. Don't despise the day of small beginnings. Don't despise the, the day of small things. Hey, it's not happening for you overnight but stay on your assignment. Don't weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. That means basically stay on your assignment. <laughs> you know, folks, you, you know, we, we got to keep pressing towards the mark. We got to keep uh, holding fast that which God has entrusted us with. We serve a God that doesn't lie. When what God has spoken over your life will come to pass. God's word never returns unto him void. We serve that the scriptures declare that God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Stay on your assignment. You know, it's not a time for dropping your hands, leaving your post. God has entrusted you with so much. What God has spoken over your life, don't allow uh, circumstances, adverse circumstances, don't allow a couple of bad breaks to get you off of your assignment. God wants you and intends for you to stay on your assignment. Noah gave, Noah opened the doors of the church and no one came except two. But it wasn't the two that he thought of. Noah had gave the altar call and he said, is there one? And it came two. But it was two dogs and two rats and two cats and two bears and two gorillas and two, uh, two uh, field mice, two, two uh, hippopotamuses. Look, folks. You're, you've been preaching your ears off, and all you're getting is a bunch of animals. But guess what? Noah had the result. Noah stood fast in his faith. Uh, he he stayed in the place. He he stayed faithful. He stayed vigilant. He uh, stayed on his assignment. And one day, it started to rain. Stay on your assignment, child of God. Don't weary in well doing. Don't. Don't feel that your labor's in vain. Don't give up. Don't cave in. Don't quit. Stay on your assignment. It'll pay off after a while. Whether that be ministry, whether that be your business, whether that's your dream of being an author, whether that's your dream, whatever God has entrusted with and spoken over your life, stay on your assignment. It'll pay off after a while. You know, you may see bad circumstances. You may see trying times. I'm not saying you're going to be exempt from either. But don't let it rob you of your purpose. Don't let it rob you of your destiny. Don't let it rob you of what God has set before your life. My word to you is stay on your assignment. I promise you, it'll pay off after a while. I see you sticking on your assignment. And I see your assignment. What God has spoken over your life will come to pass. Hold fast to that which God has entrusted you with. It'll pay off after a while. God bless you.